travel up, we're an online travel agency. We sell flights, holidays and hotels to anywhere in the world. Um, we sell to primarily UK customers, but we can also sell to US customers, Canada, New Zealand and Australia. Um, we also have a student division, which will offer discounted flights to university and college students, as well as LAM product. Um, so they could go and do a tour in Thailand or go to Bali for a few weeks. Um, we started in 2004 in our CEO's living room. <laughs> so we've come a long way since then. Um, and he was just trying to get flights from everybody and anybody. And then slowly we grew and now we're travel up here. <laughs> so we have an office in Aldermaston, an office in Parma and two offices in Pakistan. So I am a senior SEO and content marketing executive. Uh, we have a marketing team of about eight of us. We come up with all of the creative concepts campaigns, um, when, whether we're working with airlines, tourist boards or hoteliers. We try and do everything and anything we can. Um, but I primarily look after the content, so anything that sits on the blog, any press releases, any content that sits on the website always goes through me. Um, and I'm the group social media executive, um, so I look after all the social media marketing. Um, we work quite closely together as a team because everything goes together. If Cleo's got a blog, she does content, then I need to push it out on social. And the same with emails, if we've got offers going out, they also need to go on social too. An airline, hotelier or tourist ward will come to us with a pot of money. And out of that, we'll go and research what the best selling routes are or what the best selling hotel is or what like part of the country sells best for us if it's a tourist board. Um, and then we'll create a marketing plan around that. So for uh, LATAM, Sao Paulo was their most popular route and they were kind of happy for us to push that. Um, and usually if we get like a bit more money, that's when we'll do some creative stuff of easy promos. So quizzes or games. Yeah, and then we'll usually try and base it on what like the most popular route is and try and create something around that. So with LATAM, it was Sao Paulo. And um, I've done a lot of work for South America. And I know that Sao Paulo eat loads of pizza. Everyone in Sao Paulo eats pizza all the time, like millions every week. It's, it's insane. And so we thought, a lot of people here don't know that. So we're going to create a game where people can create their own pizza, like they do in Sao Paulo. And then we kind of, instead of us judging which pizza was best, we asked like the public to vote on which pizza was best. And whoever creates the pizza with the most votes will win two flights to Sao Paulo with LATAM. So we try and put out a lot of engaging content and like get reactions from our customers or following, should we say. Um, and we thought if we come up with something creative like this campaign, that will get a lot of social interaction, which is what we try and gain from our social media, get the interaction, get our brand awareness, get shares, get likes, comments. So I think this one really helped. We had so many comments with people tagging their friends, which is good to get entries for the competition, but also good to get us more likes on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and get that following. We were aiming to basically just get more people on that route. Um, it's popular for us already, but obviously Rio is like the most popular place to fly to in Brazil, but Sao Paulo has just as much energy and it's just as much fun. The aim for the campaign was we wanted people to know about LATAM. We wanted people to know about Travel Up. Um, we wanted people to know about Sao Paulo and everybody loves pizza, but not many people know that everybody in Sao Paulo loves pizza. So we just wanted to raise awareness for all of that really. Um, and we thought that making a game with easy promos, it's easy, it's really fun. It's something that people can pick up and do in five minutes, or if somebody wants to spend 30 minutes on a really detailed one, they can do that as well. Um, yeah, so we chose, basically, we chose Sao Paulo because of its connection with pizza. And we just thought it's a city that's really famous for something but not many people know about. So we just wanted people to be aware and it's fun. <laughs> when we announced the winner, we put the winning pizza on social media um, and it was a really cool one actually. There were some great entries. Um, 
but I don't know if we're going to do a blog post about like the top five that got the votes or we haven't decided what we want to do with that content yet um, but I know the airline will be excited to see what people did <laughs> it was like a face and I think it had like mozzarella eyes pesto eyebrows some pepperoni mouth but yeah there were some yeah different ones not your standard pizza <laughs> We promoted the campaign mostly on our so social media channels, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram story, we put it on our LinkedIn, everything. We just told everybody about it. We have quite a big email database. So we sent when the campaign first started, enter our pizza game, an email went out. And then any email that went out over the campaign period, which was two weeks, we would have banners at the bottom of all of our promotional emails going out trying to get people to enter. We're in also in contact with a couple of competition sites, so we reached out to them and tried to get them to share it as well, as well as on our like internal marketing channels, trying to get all of everybody that works here to share it with their friends and family too. We used a lot of um, boosts and dark ads on Facebook, and we did a lot on Instagram, Instagram stories, Twitter, um, we just kind of encouraged people that it was like a fun, creative thing, which I think not many competitions are. It's always just sign up and you'll win, whereas this is something that, you know, got people involved. Um, and yeah, we just shared it as much as we could, shared it internally and got encouraged people to share it with their friends too. So if they shared it, then they've got obviously more chance of winning because the more people that see it, the more votes that they get which was how we picked the winner through the votes. We got a really good response to the campaign. Um, people were entering all the time. We didn't expect it. We actually got just shy of a thousand entries in the end, which for us, that's never happened before. We're a growing company, but we were completely bamboozled by the amount of people who entered. Um, and the reception in general was really good. People loved the game, it was so simple. So we wanted the brand awareness for LATAM because obviously they were paying for the campaign. The same for us, get our name out there, associated with it. And again, just grow the following on social and to like be part of the campaign, you had to put your email in. So we wanted to try and get as many opt-ins as we could. And I think we got over 900 entries, so about 915 and a third of them were email opt-ins, which is really good to grow our database. So they'll now receive our marketing emails. So yeah, there were quite a few goals and we wanted to drive sales to Sao Paulo, which hopefully, we haven't found out the data yet, but hopefully we've driven up the traffic with sales to Sao Paulo with LATAM Airlines, yeah. Easy Promos is really easy to use. Um, obviously it's in the name. <laughs> it's so simple and really straightforward. We started off just making normal quizzes and stuff on there, which always got a good reception from our audience. They just love it. Whether it's where should you go on holiday next? What kind of flyer are you? We've tried all different ones and they're all great. Um, now that we're confident with that, we're starting to branch out more with like the scenes games and we've used the platform of like a video gallery where people can then vote for their favorite video from there. Um, everything we've used is really great, really simple, and you can design it pretty much yourself and make it on brand for you. It's really good, we love it. <laughs> it was really easy, actually. Everything that we've done like previously and this, so I think this was one of our bigger campaigns because we're used to doing a lot of quizzes on easy promos. Um, and we thought, let's try something different, more creative. And we actually, yeah, found it quite easy to build, test, and yeah, I think we had a good response from it, definitely. Right now, we haven't got any big campaigns planned for Easy Promos, but we like to use it internally. So although we have a lot of marketing campaigns with partners, we also do a lot of internal marketing, which is where the quiz is like, where should you go on holiday next come from? Um, and we like doing those quizzes because it shows us, it gives us a more detailed look at our audience and it can help us target in the future. So if we know that our um, like organic audience likes to go to Greece, then we're obviously gonna push more Greece 
so easy promos helps us with detailed targeting of audiences as well um but yeah for the future we're, they're all easy promos is always in our mind whenever we think of new campaigns and we're trying to get creative the first place we'll go to look to see if they do it is easy promos yeah but um, I don't know what else Easy Promos could have right now, <laughs> to be honest. It does absolutely everything for us. So we're really happy. <laughs> so I think we do, well, no, we do do campaigns on a monthly basis. Sometimes they overlap. And obviously we've got more than just travel up brands. So we've got one running on Holiday Genie at the minute. Um, the quizzes really are a good one for us. I think we want to do more photo contests. Um, we like the whole people creating something and seeing it. So I think we might use the scenes one again, um, whether that's a cocktail that you create, I don't know. <laughs> we haven't decided, but yeah, there's definitely scope to use it. Mm -hmm.